1991? Where am I? It looks pretty similar. <gasps> oh my, what is going on here? Welcome guys to a new horror game called Relive the Past. Uh, this is about us um, having a dark past, I guess. I don't know. Let's just play. Boxy Studio presents. Not the FNAF animatronic. Hello? Who's this? Hey, how's it going? Fine. Just dealing with family issues and all that. Yeah, but you were happy before all this. Remember how excited you were when you proposed to Sia? Uh, it was a strange feeling, like rolling the dice, hoping she'd say yes. Yeah, but she's been in love with you for a long time. It was bound to be a yes. I never understood the signals girls give when they're interested. But you're a happy family now, right? Um, sort of. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. Forget it. Tell me about your son. He's dead. Oh. Who did it? His mother. Whoa! My wife killed my son? Oh my gosh! What kind of... Bro, what is this devilish... Okay. What the hell? Where am I? Damn it. What's going on? Okay. What the... Freak? Oh! Hello? What are you? I can't even pause the game. Oh, no. Okay, why is there, like, walls? I'm in a jungle, I guess. I don't know if I got kidnapped or I got knocked out. Because I for sure don't know where I am. And I for sure didn't want to be here. Hello? Is anybody there? I got knocked out and I don't know where I am. I'm lost. Door. Uh oh, it's locked. This game is actually very dark. Oh. What? Are they like burning them? Oh, it's a key. Oh. Priest, please take this key. Who are you? Take this key and relive your past. What are you talking about? You will understand. Okay, I took the key. Bro, what the freak, man? Y'all are some weirdos. I'm gonna stand in the fire. I'd rather die. Let's go. Hopefully, we can open this door. Bro, where am I? I'm like... Yeah, I'm definitely like in the mountains. I don't know why I said I'm in a jungle. So, I guess we're gonna relive our past. We got these big demons here. There's a lot of them, too. What's, what does that say? Hospital. Uh-oh. Oh, am I gonna... Oh, shit. That's a lot of blood. Am I gonna see my son? Okay, we're on the, in the hospital. 1991, November 27th. 1991? Where am I? It looks pretty similar. <gasps> hi, sir. Why did you have to scare me, doctor? Hi. Uh, hi. She is fine. Who? Your wife, sir. She is fine. Uh, yeah, my wife. She's fine. Yes. Is he talking about Sia? He must be talking about her. Are you okay, sir? What happened to her? Bro, I'm not okay. You scared the shit out of me. I don't I don't think doctors are supposed to do that. What happened to her? She fell from the stairs, right? That's what you told me. Yes, she fell from the stairs. I remember everything. Not really everything. I recall her falling from the bed or something, but I can't remember much else. It's pretty sad what happened to her. You have my condolences. What? What is he talking about? Yes, it's very sad. Tomorrow is her court trial. She's admitted here. And she's pregnant. It must be very heavy for you. Bruh. Uh, yes, it sounds pretty hectic. That court trial was going to happen, but why? Well, someone has been waiting for you for a long time saying she's your friend or he... Where is he? In front of you. I... Uh, I did not want to see that, okay? We're back at the present time. You know what? The court trial was incredibly tough for me. I know it was a very emotional time for you. It was scary. But sitting here and reliving your past with me is a good sign. It was such a dark time when I found out she was suspected of harming her own child. Let me tell you a story about a family. Go on. In this family, there were three members, a dad, a mom, and their only child. When their son turned 18, they sent him to California for higher, 
entire studies while they stayed in India. They used to talk once a month, but then there was no communication for 10 long years. But then one day, their son called them, said he was married with two children, and he was coming back to India. They were the happiest parents at that moment. When their child arrived at the airport, they went to receive him and his family. What happened then? The parents got into a huge car accident with a taxi and died. Oh, rip. F the important thing is, their child was in the taxi that got into the accident. Oh, um, what? The story is real. It teaches us that we never know who might hurt us. It could even be our own family, either intentionally or unintentionally. Whoa, these are some big words. I can barely even, like, read. Oh, back here? All right, we're back in the demon world. Or hell, I don't know where this is. Oh, oh, there's babies in here? Why are there babies hanging? That's... Uh-oh. These priests again? <gasps> Fuck, you scared the shit out of me. Right, why were you just there? My lord, please understand, you are special. What are you talking about? Right, I'm just a normal person. It has been 6,000 years since this happened. Everyone who has made a decision in their past has faced the consequences. Consequences? What kind? The consequences you are about to face. You have a golden chance to relive your past and change your direction. Wow. Um, you know in those like movies or TV shows where they like want to go back in time and change decisions? That can change the timeline too much. Uh, basically like uh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't change stuff that you've already done. Because uh, it could really, oh, could really change everything. 1992. Hopefully I'm not going to kill someone. I'd rather not do that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I almost remembered that what happened that day. Wait, what? I almost remembered that what happened that day. What? <laughs> I got a call from a lawyer and he said something. Then I go down and talk to Sia. That's it. Okay. Let's go downstairs and talk to Sia then. My wife. Hello. Why is she sitting on the floor? Hi. Sia. Good morning. I just heard what you and the lawyer were talking about regarding the case. Is that lace? Hold up. Um, so what did you hear? They found me guilty, right? You know I love you more than anything in this world. No one can surpass my love for you. Memories flood back. She drowned our one-year-old son, and today she was found guilty. Why is she pregnant then? After we got married, I was the happiest person in the world. I felt like the luckiest person alive. But after I got pregnant, you started taking care of me, giving me all your precious time. But when the baby was born, you gave all that time to him. Why? Don't you love me? Ho ho, brother, ho, whoa, 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 now. Nah. Sucker, we got a baby. I love both of you. Are you mentally ill or something? Don't tell me this is the reason you killed our son. Not only him, I've taken abortion pills for the baby I'm carrying now too. What the freak? You're going to kill this baby too? Yes. What are you going to do about it? Kill me? What are you talking about, Sia? Why would I? But why have you done this to me? Isn't there another solution? There is. In the garage. In the garage. Um, where's the garage at? Why is this field of view, like, super low? <gasps> oh! No. <laughs> Oh, do you really think this is the only solution? Wait, who's talking? Oh, is it the demon? Yep, hello. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't want to do that. So wait, did I kill my wife or did she kill herself? I'm here again? Yes. Right now you are everywhere. Your mind is very powerful. Wait a minute. Who are you? I don't know you. I've got all my memories back, but you're not in any of them. Oh my god, you got all your memories back, right? Yeah, I think so. So tell me, where are your parents? I don't know. Try. Try to recall. Um, go on. I remember being at the airport, coming back, and then I got into an accident. 
Yes, you are right. The story in your mind was incomplete, and I've already told you the other side of it. No, I can't have killed my parents. As I said before, we heard our own blood in- Oh, <laughs> who the freak are you? How do you know these things about me? I am that part of your brain that you refuse to accept. The part that remembers what you've done. What? You said I know everything. That's not true. I only know the things you're afraid to accept. From killing your parents to see ya. What the fuck is going on? I have little time, but I need to explain. You made a decision with a gun, and that decision is going to be reverted to you. But I can't tell you which decision led you here. So, I will give you two options, and you must, must choose one. Okay. Uh, take the blue or take the red pill. <laughs> Shoot her and free her from the guilt of killing her son. Make her pay for what she has done. Or shoot yourself, free yourself from the burden of marrying a psychopath. Your wife loves you, right? Make, make her feel guilty for the rest of her life. Bruh. Carefully choose one. And remember, you've already chosen one of these options before and ended up here. Be careful. Yeah, I killed my wife. Um, I guess... Bro, why would I like... But why would I shoot her? Because we already know what happened. You know, she... Um, or I don't know. I become a shit person. Or no, no. The guilt stays with me. So I'm gonna leave the guilt to her. Goodbye, life. This was a wrong decision. What? Um... <gasps> Whoa! Who are you? Why do I see you everywhere? I am you, but the right decision. What do you mean? Some things need no explanation. You have chosen a wrong decision. You are such a coward. Nice, nice words there. I'm still gonna shoot myself. I don't, I'm not gonna let you decide. Ooh. Rest in peace. Um. Am I hanging? Where am I? You are exactly where you deserve to be. Huh? Hello? Where am I? Oh. Bruh. Wait, did I get punished or... What? <gasps> no! <laughs> you got the coward ending? Bro, I became that thing? Ew. So I got the bad ending. Alright guys, that was it for Relive the Past, a very short game. I would play the game again and then choose the other option, but uh, I'm too lazy. That's going to take a long time. I'm going to have to play the whole game again. Anyway, I wish you guys a very good and awesome day and make sure to like and subscribe. That being said, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.